Elsa and the Pigeon Elsa was six year old. Her parents had left her at her grandparents' place because they had to attend an important conference in another country. It was a new place for Elsa. Her grandparents' house was on a hill. There were trees all around. It was very cold too. There were not many kids in that small town. Elsa finished reading all the books that she had got with her. Her grandparents were too old to play with her. She started getting bored. One evening, she wore her warm jacket and went to the balcony of her room. She saw lush green trees which had beautiful pink flowers on it. It was cloudy and could rain any moment. Suddenly, one pigeon came and sat on the chair which was kept in the balcony. Elsa observed that the pigeon had a greenish blue neck and grey blue eyes. Its feathers had a mix of green and grey colour. It looked beautiful. Elsa went a bit closer to the chair. She was careful not to scare the pigeon. But surprisingly the pigeon also moved a little closer to Elsa. The pigeon then started looking around as if it was hungry. Elsa rushed to her room and brought her leftover bread. The pigeon was still there. Elsa threw a small piece of the bread on the floor. She thought that the pigeon would eat it from there. But the pigeon did not move and kept staring at her. Elsa took another small piece of bread on her hand and stretched it towards the pigeon. Surprisingly, the pigeon flew from the chair and sat on Elsa's hand and picked up the bread and flew back to the chair. Elsa was so happy. She fell in love with this pigeon. It became dark. The pigeon flew away and Elsa went inside. Next day, when Elsa came out in the balcony, she saw the same pigeon again. The pigeon had been waiting for her. Elsa brought some water for the pigeon. Pigeon flew and sat on Elsa's shoulder. Then it drank some water. The pigeon started coming every day and Elsa would enjoy looking at it and feeding it with bread, seeds and water. One day Elsa was waiting in the balcony but the pigeon did not come. She became very sad. So many thoughts came to her mind. She thought maybe the pigeon found another friend or maybe it lost its way. Disheartened when she was about to go inside, she saw the pigeon coming. The pigeon was flying with great difficulty. It was in lot of pain. Elsa looked carefully. She saw that the pigeon had an injury on its neck. There was a small cut and a little blood had dried up there. She immediately went inside and brought some water and a cotton ball. She took the pigeon in her arms and gently rubbed the water-soaked cotton on the pigeon's neck. She wondered what would have happened. It looked like the pigeon had brushed itself accidentally through a bush. The pigeon could not move its neck at all and could hardly fly even a small distance. Elsa knew that it would not be possible for the pigeon to go back to its home that evening. She went down and gathered some soft twigs and fresh grass. With that she made a small nest for the pigeon. Then she took the pigeon and put it on it. She could see that the pigeon was comfortable now. She fed the pigeon with water and bread. Till three days she closely monitored the wound of the pigeon. On the third day, the pigeon started moving its neck and flew to the nearby tree. Elsa was happy that the pigeon had recovered. That day the pigeon flew back to its home. Next day Elsa's parents came back. Elsa was sad to go back to her house. She knew that she won't be able to see the pigeon ever again now. She packed all her stuff and said goodbye to her grandparents. Her parents were waiting for her in the car. Elsa went to her balcony to check if she could see the pigeon again. But the pigeon was not there. She went down with tears in her eyes and sat in the car. As they were going back to their town, Elsa noticed that her parents were pointing out towards something. Elsa took her head out of the car window to see. She saw that the pigeon, her best friend was following her car. 
Elsa was so happy. The pigeon followed and reached her home in the other town. Elsa went to her house. She entered her garden. She saw the pigeon flew towards the mango tree in her garden and saw it sit on a nest there. She realized that the mango tree in her garden was actually the home of the pigeon. She jumped and rolled over the garden grass with happiness. The pigeon, her best friend, was going to be with her forever now. She played with it every day. She even told her friends about it. And the pigeon also never left Elsa alone. Thank you.